Hello crafty friends. In this video tutorial, I'm going to be cutting out these cute little poodles. They are part of the Stampin' Up! Birthday Memories Designer Series paper. I want to start by saying I also have the dies that go along with the stamps in this collection. And in the dies there is one there is one poodle. Okay? And this poodle is shaped like this. And you could actually place this die onto the designer series paper and you could cut out poodles with it. Let me turn it over. So here's the poodle. You could cut out this poodle. Okay? But that would be very time consuming and you would have to cut through the paper and ruin some of the other poodles. So I thought, just why not cut them all out with the Brother Scan and Cut? Get the most use of this paper. The very first thing I want to do at the home screen is say Scan. Then I'm going to select Direct Cut. It's in black and white recognition mode, which should be fine for this project. I'm going to go ahead and scan the paper in. Okay, now, as you can see, you may have seen in this video, the poodles are slipping because these mats are not very sticky. That's okay. I'm using a spatula, but I'm also just going to use some painter's tape. Okay, and that holds the paper in place. I'm going to place it on the side, on the side, on the bottom. And then as I'm going to take my spatula, this is just a actually Pampered Chef spatula. The Pampered Chef uses Pampered Chef products. And I'm going to make the mat stay down by using the spatula as it's going through. So that's another trick to keep the paper from moving. I've actually cut out poodles in the past and I've had a really good success with this paper. And I actually used them all up. So please check out my blog post on how I used the poodles for many uh, for dog treats made with the milk with the wood crate dye. Okay, so I'm just gonna say okay. I thought I was in black and white recognition mode, but actually I was in color. I'm gonna zoom into this area. Okay, pretty good success rate. I don't want to cut off its tail. Okay, I'm gonna zoom in and just to show you that was pretty good job it did. Now I took this brother scan and cut with me halfway across the planet in my suitcase. And in the process, my stylus was misplaced. So I'm using my finger, but that's okay. To me, these all the ones that were captured look perfect. So I'm gonna go ahead and say, okay. And then I'm gonna so, go ahead and say cut and start. Now because it's going to take six minutes, I'm going to go ahead and pause the video. Hello crafty friends. I'm back. I just got done cutting out these poodles with my brother's scan and cut. And I'm going to show you the results here. Pretty good job. I thought I was in black and white recognition mode, but I was actually in color recognition mode, which is not necessary. I think I would have actually done a better job in black and white. So but these are these are incredible. So I can I'm ready to use these for embellishments for my projects. I'm gonna pull back and show you my trick for removing these off of the mat. So what I do is I just bend the mat and that's it. And then they peel, they come right off. Okay, you could use spatulas and things like that, but it's a lot easier if you just bend the mat. Okay, so I just wanted to mention, this is the Birthday Memories Designer Series paper. I was using a blade depth of four for this project. 
color recognition mode was not necessary. I had more success when I tried this with the black and white recognition mode. Well, thank you for watching and keep tuned in to see what I make with these poodles on my blog, thepaperchef.com.